To be truly successful, teammates have to be much more than just people that happen to belong to the same organization. They need to learn together, train together, struggle, prevail, and win together. This dynamic is what propelled the youth swimmers from amphibious aquatics to victory in the Philippines at the sixth swim battle meet in the PI. Obviously, you're impressed with your team. Uh, what surprised you as far as how they were able to step up and, you know, and, and really realize their potential in competition? The whole thing was, was very, very exciting. Uh, really, the things that surprised me most is just seeing the kids perform you know, in the conditions that, that were set before them. What people don't realize is, is swim meets usually run, especially these long ones, these big ones, they, long, they last pretty much all day. So you're in there from like 5.30 to 6 in the morning warming up, and you probably don't leave till about 6 or 7 in the evening. So, you know, it's, it's very, very taxing on the body um, and the mind, really, especially at this level where they're racing about five events a day, and they're constantly thinking about the different distances that they're racing in. Mind you, the competition level that was out there, we had, you know, Malaysia, Singapore, Qatar, Canada, and then, you know, about 50 teams from the Philippines, you know, all in one Olympic-sized pool competing. So as the captain, you know, all the swimmers look up to you, so you have to be a good role model for them. You know, you can't be messing around, doing all of these things, and also, when the coach tells you to do something, you know, it's also your job to tell them that you're basically, you're an extension of the coach. And so everything that the coach does, you have to do. And also as a swimmer, you have to set the pace, set the tone for all the other swimmers because they'll follow you. We train really hard. Like we train in the mornings, we train in the afternoons and we have like gym sessions. So I feel like the results that we both got at these meets, they were definitely we worked hard for them, so yeah, I'm pretty proud of ourselves. But when we're on a trip, we get we hang out more like at the pool or like at our hotel, and it's just a better time to bond on a trip. Mm -hmm. It took years of practice and doing it over and over and over until you get to the point where you don't have to think about it, you just react. And in parallel with the physical exertion, it's projecting mentorship for your teammates and having a champion's mindset. You know, I feel like these kids, they look up to us and honestly, they really take after what we do and it's really fun to watch them like grow up and get better like constantly and break their times and it's just, it makes me really proud as being older than them and watching them grow up. They showed a lot of grit, you know, there were some disappointments, some definitely excitement and, and victories but that's all part of learning to be an athlete and a competitor, especially in this sport. Winning my heat, getting some medals, bringing back the gold. We're on the two minute interval, going on the top. Turn, go. The local team earned 32 overall medals and the trophy for most outstanding swimmer being Mia Lee. But it's the dedication to their club, the value handed down by their coaches, and willingness to go the extra mile for themselves and their teammates that made the difference in competition. Five seconds. Hang in there. Keep your stroke long. Set. Go. Being on a team with Mia and my other teammates, you know, it really it really keeps me going and having the mindset is really difficult, but being able to be here with her, it keeps me going. It really like sets the mood for you and after every meet you start to get more serious about it and you know, less, there's less playing around, you are paying more attention in practice, all these things that now it's not about just going to swim practice, but it's about getting faster so you can be the best person that you can be. Every meet, you're not going to drop like a significant amount of time. Every time you race, the more you race. So I feel like I value my co competitions more on like how I felt or like how I took out the first hundred of an event, like just how I feel and not like the immediate results. And stuff like that. We can always train them to race, right? But until they're put in a situation where 
they start to feel the nerves, they start to worry, right? And how to handle that. So we don't just train them in the pool, we also teach them about strategy, right? And, and learning from some of these more veteran swimmers like Mia and John and Keana, they can see how to, how to act, how to, how, to, how to perform while staying focused on the event at hand. And then once that event's over, pushing it to the side and moving on to the next one.